Hey, what's up guys? It's Evan and today we're gonna to be looking at sharing with React Native. Now this isn't gonna be just generic sharing, we're also gonna be looking at some more complex methods of sharing. Uh, I see a lot of open questions around these, so I just wanna go ahead and answer them all at one time. So I'm not gonna look at any docs for this one. There will be some links in the description below along with this snack. Uh, but if you do have any questions, which I imagine you will, be, uh, feel, uh, well, find a way to message me and you know I got you. But anyways, let's go ahead and look at this example over here. Wait, wait. Let's go ahead and look at this example over here. You see, I've got four kind of core things that we want to look at today. The first one is the generic React Native share. You're probably familiar with this one. You press a button, you get a share sheet. You've probably seen this in a lot of apps and there's just like all these things, you know, it's, it's whatever. And uh, I can hit a button, open it. I've got a picture of me linked in here. And uh, then I could text to someone if I wanted. Pretty generic. And I feel like when I personally use these things in apps, I whenever I see the share sheet, I just don't do anything. Like, why am I going to text someone a picture of me playing? Uh, it's just not all that useful. So I don't know why I would put it in my app. But we're going to talk about ways to make it useful. So over here in the code, you see I've got a, a basic component. And then I've got this on share method. Now, you know the drill. I've got a view. I've got a bunch of buttons here, which are really just text components that are styled nicely. It's got an on press method. If I hold command and click on that, it's going to take me to the on press method, which is this on share. Now, let's get into the actual code. What's going on here? I've got this, this helper function that we don't really need to get into. Basically, what it does is it goes and asks for permission to your camera gallery, and it just gets the first picture or whatever picture I specify in the index here. Uh, and it'll just get that index of the picture. Don't worry about that one. Uh, what we really want to look at is share.share. .share. Now we're importing share from React Native. Now this library has been around for a while. It could use an overhaul, but I don't see that happening for a while. So let's just look at what we got here. Well, we've got, if we hold command, we can inspect it. And this is in Snack, of course. You see we've got share content and then we've got share options. And it will return a promise with an object. And you can read a little bit about it down here. Uh, or in the docs, which I guess I can message, but it will say things like message and title, which I can't really look at here. And then I can define like message hey. and then test title. I'm, I'm so generic. And then over here to share that photo, I'm getting a local URI and I'm passing it in as the URL prop. Uh, I'm pretty sure this works much better on iOS than it does on Android, so that's just something to be aware of. A lot of sharing functionality is pretty different from iOS to Android. So if I were to go and hit the share button now, uh, I can hit the text message button and there's a picture of me, a different one from a different index. And then you see I've got the message down here that I specified and then title still not being all that useful. And there's uh, not much, I don't think there's a way for me to link. Now there's no way for me to specify like who the sender is with this to field up here. Uh, so you could use a library like Expo SMS. I've got a video on that. So share.share .share will return a promise with some extra state in it so you can observe like what actually happened. I don't see myself ever really using this. Uh, I guess you could. So you could do something like result await share. And then over here you can examine the result. So result will pass in action and then you can look at a static property which is shared action. And let's just a console log it out and we can look at the, the data. If we were to come over here, let's actually, let's add a few more alerts. All right, so we've gone ahead and set up a few things to look at. We're opening up the console. Now let's pop open share, take a look at this. If I were to open text and then hit cancel, then you see I get alert dismissed, and this is the result that's returned. We get the dismissed action, uh, and we're just comparing that to the static dismissed action constant. If you were to hold command and examine it, you can see string, not too helpful, but whatever. And then if I were to actually share this, let's go ahead and find someone who I can text this to who won't be too creeped out. Uh, how about my boss? We can do that. You can blur out that number. Okay, so you see it says alert shared with com apple UI kit activity dot message. Uh, so basically it's saying that it knows what activity type we used and it was a successful share. So we can go ahead and close that. That basically covers up what you can do with the basics of share. Let's look a little bit deeper uh, into excluded activities. Now this is my favorite field because uh, when you pop this open, it's like pretty lazy. It's like, hey, look, here's every possible app. 
go ahead and go crazy. So I like to cut out the ones that I know I'm not gonna use. Like for instance, I'm not gonna print out this picture of me on my computer. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that out. And uh, I'm also gonna go ahead and dismiss these alerts. Cause my goodness. I'm gonna hit the share button now. And if you look down here, you see print is no longer an option. So I can't print it in any capacity. Uh, now that's cool, whatever. Uh, the biggest one that I always take out uh, if I can is airdrop because this will make it load way slower. So if you can, I would suggest excluding it. If you pop that, it pops open way faster. Uh, you can't really tell the difference because I've been testing this a lot before the video, but the initial time that you do it, it will take maybe one, two, three seconds to load and it will be noticeably slow. So if you can take airdrop out and it will make your app look faster. I mean, already it just looks much cleaner. We know what we want. Let's go ahead and take out like as much stuff as we possibly can. Let's just take out everything. Uh, some of these aren't supported, but I'm not exactly sure which ones. Uh, just because this list changes a lot, it's based off of if the, the company changes how their app works. But as you can see now, look, it's just like, it feels, feels a little bit more targeted. Like it's something that I could actually use. So I really like doing it this way. I wish I could take out save the files. Maybe I can, but I couldn't find a way to do it. Uh, oh wait, one more thing. You can also share a base64 string in your URL if you wanted. Uh, I don't know why you would, but if you so did, then pop that open. Wait, that's not a base64 string. What's going on? There we go, base64 string of a, a plus button of some sorts. Anyways, that is it for that on share rant. Let's look at linking. So linking works a little differently on iOS and Android, just like share, but I wanted to touch on it very quickly. We've got link to Instagram, sub to Expo and open app. Let's go ahead and look at these very quickly. If I hit this link to Expo app, I'm get or whatever, open Instagram, whatever I just pressed, uh, you see I'm opening up in the screen that you've probably never seen before on Instagram, or maybe you have, I'm just out of the loop. I never saw it before I used this. And you see I can post this to my feed or to my story. It's just a photo from the computer as you're aware. Any ways to achieve this effect of linking to Instagram, what we're doing is, you see we're doing the get gallery async, we're just getting an image. And then we're getting an encoded URL. So we're using this global function called encode URI component. And what this does is it turns the URI into a, a component that can be used on the web. And then we're appending it to this Instagram URL, which is using the URL scheme that Instagram provides in their app. And then we're doing library and asset path. And this only works on iOS. I think people are working on a way to do this on Android, but you need to like actually send an intent. This is just something to keep in mind. And then we're using React Native linking and doing dot open URL, which will, it, it takes a link and it opens it. That is how you would open an image in Instagram. That's a popular thing that I see a lot. Uh, I see it mostly for Android, so uh, sorry to disappoint. There is not really a good way to do it on Android at the moment. Let's look at sub to expo. Now this one's a more generic thing. Basically, we're just passing in an HTTPs link and then it's just using some special web browser magic. If you press this button though, look, it'll take you to expo in the YouTube app. Now the reason it does this is because the YouTube app is linked to the website. So when we try to open the website, it will first look to see if that app is registered, and if it is, then it will open up to new music alert. Wow. If it is linked to that website, then it will open it in the app and it will deep link you into the app. So another thing to keep in mind. Last thing is how to open in any app. So we just kind of looked at two separate apps. Now let's look at uh, every other app. I've got this big list of different URL schemes that you could use. I've got a couple of them here. Uh, this is one that is used a lot. For instance, if you deny a permission, maybe you want to open the settings so that you can change the permission. You would do da app dash settings and that will take you right to the app settings. Check that out. Open that up and there I am in the expo settings of the app. Pretty neat, I think. Uh, you can do the same thing with like the notes app or just any app if you find out what the URL scheme is So I've got clash of clans here and if it's not a system app like clash of clans for instance Then it will be like hey, uh, it wants to open this in clash of clans I can hit open and then it will actually open up the application Very 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 last thing is how to use this with Android now if you were to try and use these on iOS they will totally work. But if you... No, thank you. Oh, that's actually not too bad. Anyways, if you were to run these on Android, nothing would happen, and you should actually do a check which says can open URL, 
but uh, too lazy to add it. Now, the reason with this is because on Android and basically any other platform that isn't iOS, you want to pass in HTTPs for the URL scheme as opposed to Snapchat. And basically what will happen is it will try and open this in the browser. And if the app exists, then it will open it in the app. So <laughs> you will still get the same native effect, but it's a little different. The reason for this is because on Android, you use this thing called an intent launcher. And the intent launcher requires a very specific intent to do certain actions. And that functionality just isn't available in a very good way in React Native as far as I know. So this is a good alternative. So you see I'm using the platform select to say if this is an iOS platform, use the Snapchat version, uh, the direct URL scheme. And if it's any other version, use HTTPs. The reason I use default instead of Android is because maybe we want to open this on the web where this would totally work on the web as well. And, uh, and then this is another example of something like Instagram where there's just a built-in feature for deep linking with that application. So if I were to use this to do this, it will try and add bacon bricks as a, a user on Snapchat, which don't do because I don't really use Snapchat, but if I do open app, it's going to do this. And then Snapchat's actually gotten smart to this. So now they just return this LOL thing. If you try to add yourself as a user, um, I can't think of any other user. Maybe let's try like Larry or something. Maybe that's a person. And there we go. It says, do you want to add Larry as a friend? Uh, I hope Larry is not like some creepy guy. If he is, uh, trust that I don't know. I don't, I don't endorse him or anything. Anyways, guys, like I said, links to all this code will be in the description below. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to tweet them at me at Bacon Bricks. Just if you do it, make sure that you uh, do it through a linking URI command and not through the app directly. That'd be pretty neat, actually. I'd find that impressive. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Ciao. No, dang it.